Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and today we are here for another angelic meditation with Lady Gaia. And so earlier I was connecting in with the earth, with Gaia, and just asking what does the earth, Gaia, what does it need? And with this understanding that our bodies, our physical bodies and entire planet, everything that's physical is Gaia. And so this reality really sort of struck me, this connection. And so I began to think about what's going on in the world right now. And so what Gaia showed me is the meditation that we're going to do, um, and we'll see how it unfolds. But what she showed me was three locations that actually form a bit of a sort of a triangle. She first showed me Stonehenge, and then the pyramids of Giza in Egypt, and then the Himalayas in the area of um, Nepal and Tibet around there. So she showed me those three areas and they, it makes a triangle. And what happened was, is that, um, uh, we'll see which beings are gonna come through, but um, there were angels from other galaxies and star systems, along with Jesus and Archangel Raphael. And they were anchoring a frequency of light so that what was formed was a pyramid of light for the new frequencies to download into the earth and then this light poured out into the ley lines around the earth. And so there's a sense of healing that will take place over a period of time where this, each one of us will continue to activate this pyramid of light, which will transmit these frequencies of healing that will allow Gaia's body to heal, her immune system to heal. And if Gaia's immune system heals and is able to start fighting off viruses, then that means that we'll probably um, assist Gaia in ridding herself of some of the viruses that like the pandemic. So that is the what I was made aware of. So I can't tell you like what kind of timeline that, that that would allow for that to happen. But as each one of us joins in the meditation at different times, and I hope that many people are drawn towards it, I will feel called to, to this work today. And I will probably, if guided, uh, commit to doing this weekly, if that's what the guidance requires. But I'm sure it's gonna be so many other things that will um, help the physical earth to benefit from this transmission. So just another reminder that this Saturday we're having a um, live chat on how to communicate with your angels um, about asking, you know, the kind of questions that will help you to align with what is really at the core, the heart of what you're really seeking and um, possibly time for a spread. So if you're going to submit questions, it's more 
um, this probably will not be the time for me to talk in that, um, as much in terms of answering questions from the chat, um, but if it relates to anything that you have in questions about in terms of your own communication with your angels and guides um, that I could address, that would be the kind of questions that you would uh, submit, okay? All right. So let's take a deep breath. And as you breathe, really become aware of your physical body as being one with the body of the earth, that your physical body is an extension of Gaia. And just connect in with this energy. And with your divine spirit, which is an extension of source, consciousness, allow yourself to be aware of the physicality of your body, earth, and be aware of the enormous power that your spirit possesses to heal, to transmute, to illuminate, to enliven, animate. And to create. Be aware of the enormous love and compassion be aware of this transmission and frequency of your love and your compassion. And feel it pouring into every cell of your body, pouring into the neurons of your body. Feel it light up your entire nervous system, animating all the functions of your body and bringing them into wholeness, into oneness. creating peace and alignment and harmony with the earth. And likewise, be aware of your immune system. And as you are aware of your immune system, feel the light of your soul or in to your immune system, its fifth dimensional codex of divine healing. And feel this moving throughout your body like an enormous power and influence of beliefs that understand and hear 
the music of source. The music of source is love and great design and desire for your well-being, wellness, and optimal health. Singing a music of life, eternity, and unity. And as you feel your own physical body reanimated and the frequency heightened and increasing with light, send your light now to the Great Pyramids of Giza. This light travels throughout time and space across the bandwidths of time. and touches the Great Pyramid of Giza. And all of your hearts are activating the quantum field around the Pyramid of Giza. And opening a portal for love. To come through. And just send all of your beautiful light and now extending your light from this point of Giza you're sending your light creating a line from Giza to the Himalayas. And there is a great etheric crystal in the Himalayan mountains in a dimension not visible to our physical eyes. And there you are activating the crystal by sending your light and this allows for a windfall of abundance to be activated I'm seeing like a waterfall, which is symbolizing the kind of energy flow that will be created there. And that it will impact the forests as well, their writing. this great crystal in the Himalayas 
is creating an energy charge They're writing the word shaman. So it's creating um, an abundance of healing. And releasing some ancient knowledge. Shamanic knowledge. Just continue to breathe. And this is assuring me the light is that you're sending is beginning to spread around the globe. They're showing me an angel is holding hearts in both of its hands. It's creating a balance of love. It's bringing about a balance, some kind of harmony for the world. Creating an enormous pool of light. They're showing me. And now connecting this light pattern from or path from Giza to the great crystal in the Himalayas. And now a new path opens of light towards the great Stonehenge. And see yourself joined by many souls whom have already shown up. So your souls are here before you will watch this video and participate in this meditation. Forming a great circle within Stonehenge formation, the rock formations there. And you are receiving they, are, they show me a musical note so that the souls there are chanting some kind of music. It's probably a chant which is creating some kind of musical intoning. And the, all of their hearts are open and hands up in reception of the light that you are sending now. Calling in the God codes. And feel the expansion, the enormous expansion of light that is supplied here. And there seems to be some etheric crystal here as well that is anchoring these God codes.
And now be aware of these three points and the energy that is forming in between these three points is creating a pyramid of enormous light, enormous frequency. And it's creating a channel of focus, a focus of intention for our planet. It will help in transforming and healing beliefs that create limitations. It will help bring in alignment an alignment of equality into our consciousness. These are the things that they're writing. So that feeling of expansion that you're sensing is the pyramid building, the light building. And Archangel Raphael is here now. And there's a cosmic sapphire that is being placed within this pyramid of light. And it's a very translucent blue, pale blue. And it will assist us in expressing higher frequencies of love. to communicate with greater integrity and honesty, to approach using the approach of your I am presence. That's what they're writing. And it's creating an um, umbrella of abundance and security. This energy, this frequency that we've been feeling a sense of lack of. And they wish to now place this cosmic sapphire within your energy field so that you can also remain connected to this pyramid of light and all of these new transmissions of awareness. And they just wrote the word illness as well. So this will place within codes within your cells and they write the word dawn as if something new will occur around illness and our beliefs and our whatever we are doing that's causing us to attract them. The various illnesses. And you may just have felt that all of a sudden a moment of silence, peace, where everything just quieted down. And that was the cosmic sapphire being implanted and now secure within your energy field. They say they want you to, they wrote the word funny, as if they want you to find ways to have more fun and to, to laugh more. 
They want you to start being um, an active participant in your own happiness. So start creating happiness, start looking for it, start, you know, making sure that you're in alignment with whatever your choices are. Make sure that they are in alignment and they're balanced with happiness. Let this be your crystalline focus, your crystalline intention for life from this point forward. No longer making decisions and choices from fear, from a place of fear, but from an expectation of happiness. Only you can do this. Only you can create joy by choosing it over fear. And now we ask that the earth receive the ley lines of the earth and the body of the earth receive this light to calm its fever. They wrote that the earth has a fever and it don't know what that means symbolically, but to calm the fever and to calm the asthma, they've written this word. Symbolic or literal, I'm not sure. They want you to know that they placed the sapphire that just showed me, the cosmic sapphire, within your heart, your high heart chakra. And they have their angels, have their arms outstretched towards you, welcoming you home, away from the concepts of suffering and towards eternal peace and happiness. They want you to spend some time connecting they show me a tree. So I had to spend some time out in nature near a tree that you feel is calling you and know that that will be the, the presence and energy of Gaia. And to connect with this tree as a way to connect with Gaia. And because you have been activated with this cosmic sapphire, which is connecting you to this pyramid of light Every time you connect with a tree or some in the physical world, you will be connecting and reinforcing this transmission with Gaia. And she shows me an Ankh. So have a good day and a good life. God bless you.